Well, a tough challenge for stroke victims, patients who lose the ability to speak, is finding a way to communicate. Now artificial intelligence has given Ann Johnson her voice back. As CTV's John Venavalli Rao reports, it's thanks to a digital avatar and a brain implant. In 2005, a rare brainstem stroke left Ann Johnson paralyzed and unable to speak. A mother of two. Can you show me what it's like? Who just a few years earlier was seen on her wedding day. <laughs> cracking jokes and full of life. And now helping to make history for the first time in almost two decades speaking in her own voice thanks to groundbreaking technology. What do you think of my artificial voice? Johnson, who is from Regina, has been working with researchers in California, developing a system that can let her talk using a digital avatar. I think you are wonderful. And a voice that resembles her own by reading her brain signals and decoding them. So we decoded text. So, you know, just the message of what they were trying to say. We also directly decoded sound. So you know, the sound of what they're trying to say. A sensor was surgically attached above the part of Johnson's brain vital to speech. Computers powered by artificial intelligence were able to read signals blocked from reaching her vocal tract because of the stroke and decode them not only into speech but facial expressions which the avatar mimicked. The researchers also used audio from her wedding speech to synthesize the voice she used to have in a video carrying out a conversation with her husband. How are you feeling about the Blue Jays today? Anything is possible. Well, you're showing not a lot of confidence in that today, are you? You are right about that. The speed is about half that of a typical conversation and not entirely accurate, but remarkable nonetheless. They're working on improvements and hope eventually to give a voice to others with speech impairments because of a stroke, ALS, or other neurological disorder. They show that it makes sense to try to give people with severe paralysis and new means of communication. And Johnson helping to prove what's possible. John Benavalli Rao, CTV News, Toronto.